Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is a fitness video and I'm really excited because I've got my old personal trainer, Malvina, coming to the house to share with you her top three core exercises that we can all do at home. Well, this is Malvina. This girl used to work my butt off, literally. I mean, you kicked my butt. I did, I remember. I missed that time, Kelly. I miss oh, you. We should do it again. You're going to kill me today, aren't you? I will. One more time. Great. Okay, Kelly, are you ready? Mm -hmm. So let's start with the first exercise, which is a half crunch. So what I want you to do, just lie down on your mat. Yes. Bend your arms and put your hands under your head. That's brilliant. That's mm -hmm. perfect. And all, all I want you to do is just come up halfway and then slowly go back down. As you come up, my lovely, I want you to hold for two seconds, so then we can work your abs even more. And one and two, slowly go back down. Come on, a few more reps. One, two, slowly go back down. Don't rush. One, two, down now. Okay, thing to remember here, you need to make sure that your lower back are flat attached to the floor. Make sure there is no arch. If you feel like you act, someone could put hand under your lower back, that means you're not doing it correctly. So back flat attached um, to the mat or to the floor. Yeah, it yeah. feels flat. So we can, so we can avoid, avoid the um, lower back uh, pain. Keep your feet um, a little bit wider than before. That's perfect. Yes. What I want you to do, keep your arms straight. Yes. Come up with your head a little bit. Yes. And what I want you to do, just reach your heel. Make it, make it like a half circle movement. Yes. Oh. That's brilliant. I can't see you touching your, tapping your <laughs> heel really. Oh, that's, that's making it a little bit easier. Oh. Yes, come on, half circle, oh half my God. circle. Can I tell you how painful this is? I can believe you, I oh. really do. If you have a, like a oh. neck pain or something, just drop down, rest for five seconds and come up. Because yeah. most of the people really struggle with the neck pain. It's just mm -hmm. the tension in your spine. Okay. Yeah, and again, as you see, Kelly struggle with that. Oh. There you go, my <laughs> darling. Do I look like I'm struggling? No, oh, not at all. Good girl, good girl. You've got a few more reps left. The technique is absolutely brilliant. Again, lower back attached to the mat. And don't bend your arms. Okay. Yeah, you just go round. Boom. Half oh seven. my god, that's yes. even harder. That's even harder. So guys, this is when you don't feel like you're doing the exercise right or you don't feel any pain. Just make sure your arms are constantly straight and you make like a side half circle. Just like Kelly's doing it. Can you feel it more now? Oh my god. There you go. Now she's doing the exercise like super, super properly. Okay guys, so if you have any um, neck problems or shoulder pain, uh, there is an option for this exercise. So Kelly, what I want you to do, just come higher. There you go. Keep your legs still on the floor and just touch the floor side to side. Yes. Try to reach behind your mm. back. There you go. Nice and slow. This is called Russian twist. Can you feel any pain in your neck now? No. no. Just, just in your oblings. Perfect. That's the way you should feel it. Last exercise. We will engage our lower abs. And this is the most difficult area, especially for us women. Because very often, we do struggle with lower back pain. If your lower abs are not strong enough, then your lower back will hurt even more. Okay? Mm, so the more your lower abs um, are stronger, the more your lower back becomes stronger. You start with the position exactly where you are now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just lean back a little bit, yeah? Then keep your hands here, yeah? Then as you come in, tuck your arms down under your legs, extend and stretch your body. Yes, go back in, arms under, extend, stretch your body. Let's go for 20 reps. That's brilliant, and you can do it. Once you feel your lower back start to hurt, which it might happen after doing a few reps, just drop your hands on the floor, just right behind your back, and carry on the movement of extending your legs and bringing them in. Yeah, but you're doing really well. You don't really need the easy option. Uh, Go, uh, girl! Uh, now the easy, now the easy option. Yes? Few reps of the easy option. Do you know what really kills too is here? Legs as well, is the tension in your legs. So as you see, when you train and when you do certain exercise, it's not like you're involving just one muscle. Mm. There's other parts of your body working as well, which is brilliant. Okay, I am feeling that. That was great. Thank That's you. That's amazing. That's amazing. Make sure you repeat that again tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh. So I do it three, I do each exercise 20 reps. Yes. And I do that routine. And you repeat that again and, and again. And no break. No break. Try not to have a recovery. When you do your abs, they really need to hurt and burn. Oh my God, this is the burn. moment when you work them the most. 
Okay, that Just come get that six pack. Oh, I want the six pack. And the lines, Beyonce lines. <laughs> yeah, I like the mood. <laughs> And of course, if you want to follow um, Malvina on social media, the links are up there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've had fun making it. It's been great hanging out with my old PT oh. again. Remember, I do lots of other videos on fitness and lifestyle and paleo. So you can follow me on social media at memore.tv and please subscribe. Been away for two weeks. Oh, you're missing oh, him. I'm missing him. He's home tonight. Okay. Thank God. Jiggy, jiggy. Jiggy, oh, jiggy. Sure. Yes. That's a wrap. Oh.